Hi guys, it's me Sina, and today's video, I am showing you how I built the two accommodation buildings in the city of Arcadia for uh, one of the universities, the only university which I've built right now. Um, yeah, so um, there are, I decided to make this whole complex for accommodation for the university, which is right across the road from the university. Um, yeah, from the university. And it currently just has the two accommodation buildings, the east and the west building. Um, don't remember off the top of my head how many floors, um, but there's about ten in each, but one of them is two or farther, I know, a floor is um, shorter than the other. And yeah, um, this is just a wee video on showcasing how I built both those buildings. And just to mention it straight away, I did forget to turn off the day and night cycle, so some bits of the video will be relatively dark because of a uh, night time um, yeah because of the night that came about so sorry, sorry about that it will be quite annoying at times but you know hopefully what is there um, hopefully you have the like most um, important bits are visible, right? So this is just me making um, the outline for uh, the bedrooms in the accommodation because in these buildings and they're the exact same, both buildings are the exact same, I just copied and pasted them um, the other one I mean um, but the way the actual um, floors and apartments function is there are um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 16 rooms on every floor and as I said there are about 10 floors in each in building yeah um, 16 rooms each room is obviously for one individual student so 16 students per um, floor and at the end of the building of the corridor which leads through all of the um, apartments there is a kitchen which is shared between all of the students on that one floor um, and the way I actually worked out the um, design, the exterior design for these two buildings is just I literally searched up just designs of um, student accommodation in different cities for different universities and I find I doubt that I can find it. If I can find the original image, I will try to show it on screen. Um, but I find a um, an image. I don't know what university it was from, but university, but university combination, which was this like it looked like wood. That's why I used wood in this design. Um, I doubt that it was wood, but it could have been. I don't know. It was this like raw material. Um, around the windows and then the rest of the building was just white with these like panels on the sides of the building um, of the buildings a like covering up windows kind of a thing which is just what I did I, ju I just had like these windows on each side of the um, building which just um, which yeah just cover had these panels I think I made them out of brick 
a quartz bricks, which you just um, they covered up with those windows. Yeah, and those are just the uh, those are on both um, sides of the building. Those like um, I don't know what you call them. Triangles, yeah, triangles. They're like perfect triangles because they're flat on the um, front, uh, but they are that kind of shape. Yeah, and, and as I said, they're on both sides of the um, of the uh, buildings of each one, with yeah these um, panels covering them, and they contain the kitchens. Which, as I said, every floor shares um, the same kitchen, and then also on the on the other side of the building, there is the staircase, which leads from the ground floor all the way up to the top floors. And on the top floors, I did not build it then yet, but the top floors will have um, these like I. Because the idea for the groin floors is to have these like shops and like grocery shops, you know, and maybe like wa uh, places where you can wash your clothes or whatever, right? And I want the top floors to maybe have like restaurants, maybe like a bar as well for the students, or maybe like big um, spaces for dining. Um, and just places where you could hold parties as well, something along those lines is what I'm thinking for the um, top floors, because the top floors don't actually contain any apartments, they as yeah, they will just contain um, this, as I said, maybe a bar, maybe a um, restaurants or something along those lines and here you can see me um, starting to work on those triangular um, sides of the building the ones which will contain the staircases and the um, kitchens and yeah, these are the panels which I have been talking about um, I put them two blocks away from the actual glass panes but I do eventually later on move them in by one block so that they're only one block away from the glass which I just think it looks better and nicer and cleaner as well yeah here I already start um, changing them because yeah I just think it looks uh, and it, it ended up looking nicer this way than it would have with the uh, two blocks gap and here yeah I start actually um, pasting them on top of each other um, to just get like a I wanted to get a taste of the height of how it would look um, with that height because I didn't know if I wanted the panels to themselves to be sh smaller um, because I didn't know how much of the glass they would cover up but I did decide to just go with that width um, of them and yeah, I just yeah, copy and paste them on top of each other to just see what height I actually wanted the um, building to be at. And here I start the um, roof, which was difficult <laughs> because the um, s um, photo which I am going off of had this very nice like geometrical roof which went out and in um, which would be easy to make a normal minecraft however this building as you can see is actually diagonal so it was a little bit more difficult to actually make that um, kind of shape which goes in and out diagonal and um, so yeah I just it took me a while, but I did eventually. Um, it's not symmetrical, 
but I did eventually um, work out how to make it look like it is symmetrical and make it look like that actual um, uh, design with uh, the roof going in and then out again out of the middle which you will see eventually once I do get on it because at the beginning as you can see I just made a diagonal I, because for some reason my brain was like yeah like it's the building is diagonal so I'll just make a diagonal but then I look at the image again and realize that it wasn't diagonal it was actually in fact this specific shape which went in and out of the um, center of the building so this is me realizing that and trying to actually make it somewhat symmetrical and yeah, I just copied and pasted it, flipped it over onto the other um, side to just save myself from having to work it out again. The thing I do go back to the width of the um, lines, I think. I think I did change the width, or maybe I just didn't record that part. Not sure, but I think I did cheat the width um, eventually. Pretty sure I did. Because I just wasn't happy with how it looked. Um, but yeah. And yeah, here I did not realize that I would have to make it unsymmetrical. I wanted to make it symmetrical, but then I still realized that I cannot make it symmetrical um, because of the fact that the building is in fact diagonal. If it would not have been diagonal, I could have made it um, symmetrical because the actual um, well hi and because the actual um, building itself is an even and I mean an odd number in width so I could make it symmetrical but I couldn't make it so I thought I could make it symmetrical but I couldn't make it symmetrical because it was diagonal and it just messed with the geometric design of the um, Roof. Unfortunately, hey, this is just really dark. Sorry if you can't see anything, but I'm just zooming into the other corner, which in the image, in the reference image, the corner was like that same. I think so at least was that same brown um, material. So I just decided to use the same stripped wood um, oak logs in the. Um, and these parts of the building and yeah just make like this um, smaller diagonal um, triangular even shape inside of the bigger um, triangular shape of the walls of the glass walls um, and yeah I instead of filling it in, in with the water that I just decided to do it by hand for some reason not sure why but I did it by hand I was I had plenty of time on my hands and yeah, the, it's, it became dark again because as I said earlier I um, forgot to turn off um, the day night cycle. Did I say that I um, forgot to turn it off? I think I did. I hope I did. But if I didn't I forgot to turn off the day night cycle accidentally when recording this so there will be um, bits which are um, recorded during the night and some during the day so yeah this one as you can see is um, recorded during the night which is very very annoying I know sorry I hope for future videos I will remember to actually turn it off and here um, I started to actually work on the exterior and trying to work out if I wanted to um, make the, the exterior look which I yeah, just went for these um, this strip in the middle of like a flower bed kind of a thing but I realized that I couldn't because I wanted to cover the grass and the dirt with um, trapdoors but I realized that I couldn't do that if they would be diagonal like they were because obviously you can't put um, a trapdoor on a block with a trapdoor in it already which is what you would have to do if there would be a diagonal um, block, so I just got rid of the di actual diagonal bits and just 
made the actual um, flower webs um, rectangular and added in a passage uh, between them. And you sorry for that like blue thing that in my I was uh, cutting away and pasting it somewhere else the building which was there uh, so that I could move the building um, to in its place because I wanted the buildings to be there I wanted the complex to be between those two streets instead of those two buildings uh, so I just pasted them in somewhere else and obviously replay mode which is what I'm using to, re to record this doesn't uh, only loads a specific area around your player and doesn't load the whole world obviously so yeah that was just um the camera being in on level chunks but here i already posted one of the buildings the taller building i believe yeah uh, in its place and which i will actually move we are I'm, i think i'm moving it no uh, I just placed some floors on top. Okay. But yeah, I um, I will move this building backwards a little bit to just fit into the um, area better because I wanted the other building to be in front of it but not parallel to it, a little bit to the side. So yeah, I. Um, need to move that but before I could move it I wanted to add I knew that I wanted to add this like um, square I guess at the back of the um, complex be yeah, beside the street around the pavement uh, so that you know during like the spring and summer months if students are still at the university at the accommodation staying there they could um, walk outside into this um, area and just you know sit on the grass is the terracotta bits or these like um, seating areas essentially I want them to be and I wanted I want to add, I still haven't, but I want to add um, some like um, chairs, tables, etc. and to just make them I guess in a way aesthetically pleasing, I don't know but just like make them nice and homey um, just you know, make a space which, oh sorry um, uh, make a space which students can actually even like revise and write essays and w you know do their work in um, under the sun you know and I will add some trees in the future as well to just um, cover those seating areas a little bit so that they're in the shade instead of just pure sunlight and here I actually move the Back, like I wanted to um, make this um, back area before I would move the building because I did not know how big the area would be, so I didn't know how to how um, many blocks back I should move the building itself. But here I do, um, as you could see, eventually move it, and yeah, I continue working on the on this area, on this urban area. And yeah, I wanted to add in some water as well, some uh, streams to just have some water. I'm not sure if I will um, connect the water to like an actual river or different stream of water, or if it will just like be superficial, or if it will be like water placed in superficially into this area. I don't know. But that's the first thing. Um, I just wanted to add some water so that there is that nice um, flow through, through the area. And yeah, um, I um, this video doesn't actually include the 
finished area why the finished area will look because I as I am making this voice over I still haven't even finished it um so yeah I uh, the idea for this is to as I said like have these trees covering the um providing shade to these um seating areas uh, and having this water throughout I think I will add more areas with water as well I'm pretty sure I will because there's not enough water I, I don't think so um but yeah it, it's it's not finished <laughs> it's not finished that's why it's very raw um at the end um, but yeah, it's it's not the end you know so yeah it will be more tied together and more natural I hope once I do decide to finish it that I am more of a starter than a finisher so yeah it's not you know <laughs> it's difficult for me to actually finish something I will start an area within the city but I will have s problems actually finishing that area you know but I am happy with myself um a boy toy much of this area I have complete so far it's actually like a I, I have made the whole um, outline of the area, I guess. Um, that whole thing is, co the whole outline is complete. What isn't is the actual detailing. The trees, the benches, the tables are not in yet. And also the like um, ground floor be beneath the apartments is not complete yet either, but what is complete is, as I said, the actual um, spacing of where the seating will be, of where the water will be, of where the trees will be, etc. You know, that whole thing is complete. The actual idea behind it is there. I just have to actually execute it now. You know, and when I was um, making the replay mod version of this, I realized that I actually spaced the paths unsymmetrically which honestly is unsurprising with my brain um, but yeah, I if the left one is four or five blocks away from the edge whereas the one on the right is seven blocks away from the edge which I did not realize I did until as, as I said I was doing the replay mod um, flying camera angle thing so yeah I will change that um, once I get to it but yeah I, I can't forget to change it because I know I will probably forget but yeah uh, so yeah this is this whole section complete I'm pretty sure I think I will, yeah, I will get on to the second building, yeah, here we are. Um, this is the second building, this is the shorter building of the two. And I will still, I think, move it, I just have to worry where I want to move it to, yeah, very close to the path I actually wanted to move it. And also this, this, this path beside the street I also actually have to make more make make it a better angle because I do, I really hate the angle it's at right now. I really have to update it and change it because I've made this street so long ago it feels like and I still haven't worked out how I want to make my angles. But you know um I will change that eventually hopefully. But this is actually it for this part. As I said this is the first part of the two parts in which I built um, this whole complex so yeah and the second part will be uploaded hopefully soon in a, uh, either tomorrow or in a couple days um, so yeah, I hope that all of you have enjoyed this video and I hope that you will join me in the next video in which we will actually be seeing the finished product of the complex so yeah, 
this has been Sayed and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!